Dear friends, welcome to a personalized episode of Enlighten Me. Today we will explore how urban planning can improve road safety, the latest in electric vehicle innovations, and strategies for achieving carbon neutrality by 2050. Stay tuned for insights on public safety, clean energy, and sustainable development. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu aimed for carbon neutrality by 2050, seeking equitable solutions. The city turned to the Solar Energy Innovation Network, SEN, by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory and used the Clear Sky Toolkit from Tampa Bay for site selection. In West Atlanta, leaders developed a community-owned resilience hub inspired by SEN's Breaking Barriers project. These projects focus on equitable solar deployment, addressing historical disparities in access, particularly in Black and Hispanic communities. CN's companion initiative, Innovation at Scale, Solar Community Assistance for Local Equity, offers technical and analytical assistance to adapt solutions from CN projects. The program covers financial pathways, community engagement, solar for underserved small businesses, and disaster resilience. A new energy storage method involving high-pressure water injection into underground rock formations is being explored by an 11-year-old startup. This concept, derived from oil industry techniques, aims to use water pressure to store energy mechanically in compressible rock reservoirs. The system promises 1 to 10 megawatts of power per well for long durations. However, repeated pressure cycling and high-velocity water flows could erode the shale into sand, undermining the system's integrity and efficiency. Projections of a 40-year lifespan are likely optimistic, with significant operational challenges anticipated. The startup's approach faces skepticism due to potential rapid degradation, increased costs, and complex maintenance needs. Although technically feasible, competing solutions like pumped hydro and lithium-ion batteries remain more viable and cost-effective for large-scale energy storage. Hitachi Energy has announced a $4.5 billion investment over three years to accelerate electrification and support the net-zero economy. This builds on a previous $1.5 billion investment aimed at speeding up transformer production. The funding will enhance Hitachi's global R&D, engineering, and manufacturing capabilities for high-voltage products. CEO Claudio Facin emphasized the rapid shift towards electricity as the backbone of the energy system. Hitachi's electrification efforts also include a partnership with Penske for a pilot EV charging facility in California. Additionally, Hitachi is involved in the H2 scale in Texas and beyond project, focusing on integrating renewable energy with power grids and advancing green hydrogen technologies. In November, U.S. voters face a crucial decision between a president who has championed clean energy and climate-friendly policies and a candidate promising to dismantle these advancements. The stark contrast was evident during the 80th D-Day anniversary. One candidate honored the fallen soldiers, while the other barely acknowledged the event. Historian Heather Cox Richardson underscores that America's current struggles reflect historical conflicts between authoritarianism and individual liberty. President Joe Biden, at the D-Day commemoration, emphasized the importance of alliances, democracy, and freedom while warning against the allure of dictatorship. This election could significantly impact the future of democracy and environmental sustainability, making it imperative to vote wisely for a leader who values clean energy and democratic principles. The Biden-Harris administration has announced a memorandum of understanding between the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, BUM, and Maryland to advance offshore wind energy development. This collaboration aims to achieve the administration's goal of deploying 30 gigawatts of offshore wind capacity by 2030, creating jobs and cutting energy costs. Secretary of the Interior Deb Holland, BOEM Director Elizabeth Klein, and National Climate Advisor Ali Zaidi 
joined Maryland Governor Wes Moore for the signing ceremony. The MOU focuses on exploring potential offshore wind leasing areas, enhancing collaboration, and bolstering the domestic supply chain. Since Biden's term began, the Department of the Interior has approved eight commercial offshore wind projects and held multiple lease auctions. The administration continues to invest in infrastructure, workforce training, and sustainable energy to combat the climate crisis. Join us as we discover the significance of World Ocean Day. World Ocean Day, observed on June 8th, highlights the United Nations' efforts since 2008 to manage ocean ecosystems essential for human and global biodiversity. The oceans, covering 75% of Earth's surface, absorb 23% of human-caused carbon dioxide emissions and 90% of excess heat. However, climate change, pollution, and overfishing are degrading ocean health, causing rising temperatures and acidification. This year's themes focus on restoration and catalyzing action, emphasizing sustainable innovations. Blue food systems support over 800 million people but face significant climate risks. The United Nations adopted a High Seas Biodiversity Treaty to regulate nearly 50% of the planet's surface. Blue energy technologies offer renewable alternatives, requiring further research and development. The 2025 UN Ocean Conference aims to promote sustainable ocean use, reinforcing the importance of protecting marine resources. And now, pivot our discussion towards automotive news. A study by Dr. Quinch Nguyen at the University of Maryland School of Public Health, published in the British Medical Journal of Injury Prevention, uses AI and Google Street View to identify environmental factors impacting car, cyclist, and pedestrian-related collisions. The research shows that higher levels of greenery, streetlights, single-lane roads, and sidewalks significantly reduce fatal car crashes. Sidewalks, notably, led to 70% fewer accidents, while single-lane roads saw a 50% reduction. Streetlights and stop signs increased safety for pedestrians and cyclists, whereas road construction areas experienced more collisions. Researchers aim to influence transport policy and urban planning to enhance road safety using these findings. Guyan plans to expand the research to include more environmental indicators and explore global applications. Hawthorne, California, UP FIT, a division of Unplugged Performance, has introduced the world's first Tesla Cybertruck patrol vehicle, ready for various public safety uses. This innovative vehicle sets a new standard in first responder solutions, blending Tesla's electric technology with Unplugged Performance's expertise in vehicle modification. Featuring warning lights, sirens, upgraded radio, and computer systems, the UP Fit Cybertruck is customizable for tactical, military, and search and rescue missions. The vehicle includes options like prisoner partitions, weapon storage, K9 enclosures, and Starlink internet connectivity. Strong interest from law enforcement agencies highlights its transformative potential. UpFit also offers enhanced electrification, infrastructure planning, and fleet management services, along with training for field officers and technical staff, ensuring comprehensive support for deploying these advanced vehicles. Global plug-in vehicle registration surged 25% in April 2024 compared to April 2023, totaling $1.2 million. Battery electric vehicles, BEVs, grew 14% YOY, while plug-in hybrids jumped 51% YOY, capturing an 18% market share. Year-to-date plug-in EV market share increased by 1% to 17%. Tesla Model Y led sales with 69,000 registrations, despite a 7% YOY drop. BYD dominated with six models in the top 10, including the record-breaking Destroyer Aero 5. Tesla Model 3 fell to 7th, down 36% YOY.
Volkswagen ID.4 and Aito M9 also made the top 10. BYD topped April's brand sales with 309,000 registrations, while Tesla saw a 15% YOI drop. In OEM rankings, BYD led with a 20.8% share, followed by Tesla at 10.8%. Geely Volvo showed significant growth, and Volkswagen Group aimed to climb higher. Kia is recalling 462 Thanus 869 Telluride SUVs due to a potential fire risk from the front power seat electric motor. The problem arises if an external impact misaligns the power seat control switch, causing the motor to overheat. Owners are advised to park their vehicles outside and away from other cars or structures until the recall is completed. Documents filed with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, report one underseat fire and six incidents of localized melting, but no injuries or crashes. Impacted owners will receive mail notifications to take their vehicles to a dealership for a free fix, including reinforcing the power seats, adding a new bracket, and replacing the power seat slide knob. Dealers will get notified on July 25th with owner notifications following the next week. Owners can check NHTSA's recall website using their VIN. Let's now switch to the 2025 Toyota Crown. The 2025 Toyota Crown Signia SUV offers a premium alternative to the Toyota RAV4 and Toyota Highlander. It features a hybrid-only lineup stylish exterior, and intuitive interior layout. Powered by a 2.5-liter four-cylinder and two electric motors producing 240 horsepower, it includes all-wheel drive but lacks a PHEV variant and the 340-horsepower hybrid max powertrain. The interior, though conservative, is filled with soft-touch leathers and interesting plastics. Performance-wise, it accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.9 seconds and laps a figure 8 course in 27.3 seconds. The suspension needs refinement, particularly under hard braking. With a near $50,000 base price, it competes with the Acura RDX and Audi Q3, but may face identity issues. Despite this, it offers Toyota's reliability and daily driver convenience. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Innovation Pulse. If you enjoyed our insights and are eager to learn more, the Enlight Me app is just a tap away. Expand your knowledge with personalized content on over 20 diverse topics, from crypto to health and beyond, all curated to fit your interests. Download the Enlight Me app now at the Apple Store or Google Play, or visit the enlightme.ai website. Stay curious, stay enlightened, 